Hello everyone, I'm Gary Martin and today we're going to be testing a 41 inch arm lock putter against a 34 inch standard putter. So being a bit of a traditionalist, I've never actually looked at an arm lock putter and every time I've seen someone using one, it's looked very unorthodox, it's looked very uncomfortable and you know, not something that I've ever been that interested in trying. But it were only this week that one of our members popped in and he were asking if we'd got any in stock and whether we could order one. Um, and the reason were is, is just because basically is, is I don't want to say the word, it's a horrible word. I'll not mention the word, you all know what it is. But inside six foot, he cannot control the club face. You know, his wrists are breaking down. He feels like he's going to pull them, push them. You know, he's really lost control. And I think it's in his mind now when he's just looking for some help. So I thought, you know, I would try one because I think there'll be a lot of people in that situation where, you know, you're going for a little bit of a bad time putting. You will have never tried an arm lock putter and probably, you know, hate the idea of one but actually you know don't want to spend 300 pound and think well this is a waste of money and it's not helped me at all so i'm going to give you a bit of an honest opinion on how it feels using an arm lock putter against a standard length putter so for the purpose of today's testing we're using the king cobra grand sport arm lock and grand sport 34 inch putter so they're absolutely identical heads identical faces the only difference is the length of the shaft and the grip style. Now I say identical heads, there is a slight difference and that's in the way that the, the lie of the, the club, the face angle sits in the arm lock because it's designed to be pressed forward against the target arm. So it really does, it's set with a lot of loft because it's designed to be de-lofted in your setup. So I don't want to get into too much detail about that, but what I do want to do is talk through how it feels when you know used in the in the correct setup. So if you're not sure how an arm lock should be used, we'll start by just demonstrating you know how you should address the arm lock putter. So you know shoulder width apart in the stance that's optional. You could go with a little bit wider stance if you like, but I choose to use a shoulder width stance, and I think this would be best position in the middle of the stance. All right, because once you push the putter forward and lean it against the target arm, the loft then looks pretty neutral. I think if you were to have that ball any further forward, it starts to show too much loft. So if you are gonna buy one of these putters, then do ensure that your ball position is somewhere sort of center or just forward or center, but not too far forward. I think if you were certainly gonna put that more towards your back foot, then it's very likely you're going to hit down on the put, you know, down on the ball. It's going to jump and bobble. So I feel that the best pull ball position for this putter would be towards the centre and then leaning it against the left arm. So from the shoulder, the arm and the putter make a, a straight line all the way down to the head. And then I've chose to hold the club here at the bottom, and that's only on a recommendation by one of the greenkeepers here at Woolley Park. And thank you, Woolley, for, for letting me come and do this demonstration today. I really appreciate that. On his recommendation, because he uses one of these putters very successfully, I'm told. So on his recommendation, we're going to be using this sort of stroke. So it, it really does make the, the stroke a one-lever system, which is how a putting stroke should be. I mean, it feels very unorthodox to me, and that's probably because I do use a little bit of hands, you know, unknowingly. But let's get into the... The testing, so for the purpose of the testing, we're going to be testing these short ones and then we're going to test a little bit longer put. This one, you know, 34 inch, it's very sort of feels normal to me uh, within length. It's got the, looks like a 2.0 grip, so I think a nice thickness of grip to sort of feel secure when you're holding it. <coughs> Let's have a go. So it feels pretty normal. Solid feel, you know, if, like I said, if you, if you want to know a bit more about these putters, go over to James Robinson's channel. I really do like the feel of these putters. And they've got a, a face in them that I've never heard of before called Sick. 
um, which is like a variable loft face. That one just brushed the edge, but felt very stable, you know, it felt, felt normal to me. So this is completely unscripted, but the man himself has come and he's, uh, he's hitting a few putts. So he's going to show us he's struck with a standard putter, Ready. which he's lost a bit of confidence with. That looked a little, I mean, that's the typical one, isn't it? Pull yeah, left. Get a bit left and a bit risky. And then, it's the first time he's used this, uh, this model, but he has got an arm lock. And that was because he was, uh, he felt he had a bit of a yip. Oh, look at that. You'd think we've made it up. <laughs> I didn't do that quite well, but well, better, isn't it? I think if you need any more evidence, guys, that these help with people with a yip, uh, you know, unbelievable, unbelievable scenes. So, you know, I am new to this, like probably some of you might be if you're considering one of these. It's not a style that I feel comfortable with over the ball. I mean, it's very new and it's something that maybe I might get used to. But when I stroke it, I've got to admit, I feel I've got, I'm 100% in control of that club face and that it's moving at the same speed as my shoulders. And because it's locked up against my arm, I cannot use my wrist. You know, there's no way that I can actually flip that over. Or it feels, you know, because you're trying to put a bit of pressure on the arm and the butt of the club, it feels very secure in the stroke. And I'm not here to sell you one of these. I'm just telling you what I feel. I feel very uncomfortable stood over the ball, but as soon as I make the action, I can understand why this is a benefit because it feels so secure and so controlled. Wow, it does feel solid. It feels really solid. I'm a bit of a traditionalist, so like I said, so you know, I just, do you start to use this technology, you know, for, for the advantage of, of your score, or do you sort of just stick to your sort of beliefs and, and stick to a standard length putter? I cannot tell you how secure this feels, but also how much of a wally I feel using it. And you know, that's, that, I can only give you my honest, you know, honest feelings on this one. I feel an absolute wally using it, but it does feel so secure. And I think I've missed that one there just because I'm so uncomfortable with how I'm stood and, and how I feel over the ball. But actually the stroke, I think if I were to sort of practice and rehearse this, I could get really comfortable with that. So we're going to try in a little bit of a longer putt. Now, from what I've heard, the people that sort of have the yips don't tend to struggle so much on the longer putts, but I want to be sort of transparent with you on how it feels for distance control, because I think for me, I can really understand the benefits from inside six foot, you know, and secure, having a bit more of a secure feel. But what I would be worried about if I was to sort of move into one of these putter would be the feel on the longer putts. Start with the standard length putter which again, you know, it feels very familiar to me. Oh, nearly, I've nearly got that one. Good line, good weight as well. I think I'm just getting used to the feel of these putters. That one's got to be in, here we go. Again, I think I've got it. Hello. So I don't think I'm going to be performance there on the, on the shorter length putter, but I don't think that's important. I think what's important is that you get the feedback on how this putter feels you know, during a longer distance put. Oh, God, come on. It's very hard to get set if you're new to this. What I've got to try to do is almost take a little bit of a longer stroke because I'm not using any hands, which I'm a bit guilty of doing with my sort of shorter length putter. 
I'm taking the sort of same amount of a, a backstroke with the shoulders, but because I've not got that second lever just to help the ball along, I'm leaving it short. So I have got to take a little bit longer stroke. And I think that's something that you've got to adapt to if you're going to start to use one of these putters, because it is just a one lever, strictly a one lever system. You can't, you can't use the hands. So again, I've done it again. I've left it short again. As far as, you know, the club face control, absolutely fantastic. But adapting to, you know, having a bit longer stroke is going to take a bit of time for me, I think. So I'm going to just make sure I get it there on this one. Yeah. So I think just to conclude, you know, I'm always going to be honest with you guys. It feels to me as a traditional golfer, it feels very awkward over the ball. However, I think this putter would suit two people. I think it would suit somebody completely new to golf who's got no preconceptions or a putting stroke because, you know, it's a very secure style of putting where the club faces, you've got a lot of control and you would just need to get used to the length of stroke for distance like, you know, everybody does when they start golf. Or it could be the golfer that's really struggling with a yip, really unconfident, you know, very handsy, got a twitch, you know, and that can be any level of golfer. It happens to any, you know, it happens to all of us at some stage where you might get a little bit of a yip, but it will take some transitioning into, as I say, you know, I'm a low handicap golfer, a scrap, well, professional golfer. And for the longer putt, I couldn't adapt to, you know, making a longer stroke straight away. It would take me, I guess, a few hours to adapt into this. And I don't know how long it would take for me to actually feel comfortable and not feel so much of a wally over the ball because you know like i said being a traditionalist this style to me does feel very alien but you know the more i do it actually the more i do it even just there because i've familiarized myself with it over them few puts it's starting to feel a little bit more comfortable so just to conclude i think if you are struggling with club face control this will be a fantastic putter if you go into a shop and try one, don't be put off by feeling a wally like I have, or you know, not having perfect distance control to start with. You know, I think you'll get the same feeling as me. You'll get the feeling of how secure, you know, the stroke feels, the head, you know, the club face control. But you might be reluctant to buy it based on feeling a wally and feeling that you haven't got distance control. But believe me, I think that will come with practice. So for me, it's a big thumbs up for the arm lock. If you are struggling with your stroke, then you've got the approval from me. And I hope that's really helped because I'm sure there'll be some golfers out there that can relate to this. And uh, yeah, if you want a bit more information on these, pop over to James Robinson's channel. We've done some testing today and James talks a little bit more about the tech in the head and you know, that kind of thing. So I hope you've enjoyed it. It is free to subscribe if you're not already subscribing and um, I'll be back to see you in a couple of days. Bye.